Welcome to this lesson on how to morph. This is going to be a very basic lesson that takes two images and has them morph together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, I'm going to resize these images. I'm going to use a program such as Photoshop to make them the exact same image. So the first thing I want to do is get them roughly the same. So I'm going to go ahead, if you notice in this picture, it's basically just my head. So I'm going to come down here with the crop tool and get roughly just my head. And I'm going to go ahead and check the size. I'm going to go to image size. And it's 405 by 396. I'm going to go ahead and write that down just to be sure. And now I'm going to check my other image. I'm going to go to image, image size. And that's 485. So my other image was 405 by 396. So I'll go ahead and make this width the smaller size, 405. But notice that the height is now smaller than 396. So I'm going to change that instead to 396. So the dimensions for this smaller image are 405 by 396. So I'm going to go ahead and use the rectangular marquee and choose fixed size and set the exact dimensions. 405 by 396. Now, your images are going to have a different dimension, so don't pay attention. I just want you to see how this works. So after setting those, I'm going to take the rectangular marquee and click down without a feather. I need to get rid of that feather. And do you see how that little dancing ants are surrounding my image? Now I'm going to go ahead and go image crop. Now I'm going to go ahead and save these. I'll go ahead and file, save for web. You might want to create a folder just for your morphing pictures. And I'm going to go ahead and choose Save when this window pops up. Scoot this over so you can see what's going on. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Click Save. And I'll go ahead and I have a Morph folder, so I'll go ahead and save it in there. And I'll call this Pick 1. Go to the next image, File, Save for Web. Set that to Pick 2. Now with those images resized, I'm going to go ahead and open up the program for this by going to Start and open up the program called Squirrels Morph. It's a free program and so we're going to be using that. So I'll go ahead and make this larger so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to go ahead and open up those images by going to File, Open and, and I put them on the desktop in this case. I'm going to go ahead and locate that folder and open up Pick 1 and Pick 2. What I'm going to do is if I click on these little blue, the tile, now notice how this pops up even though you saw me resize them. I'm going to go ahead and do what it says. It says that you need to go to the equalize sizes in the image menu. So I'll say OK. I'll go to the image menu and say equalize sizes and say yes. Now I'll, I'll go ahead and click on those, two, those blue options. The first thing you want to do is I'm going to morph from my baby picture to my adult picture. When you click on this little plus sign, you start putting little dots around the outskirts of your object. In this case, it's me as a baby. And I'm going to just put clicks around it, just around my face for now. And actually, the more you have, the better it is. Now notice you see the dots over here? If I scroll over this part on the top of my head, do you see where it is in relationship to my adult? It's uh, not pretty much, you need to have them pretty much in the same location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to come over here and move it to roughly the same location of my baby head. You want to make sure that they're close to each other. That one's pretty good. And I'll bring that closer to my hair. Now see this? I need to have it on the outskirts of my hair. And I'm just going to get my whole head. Now some people might choose just to do the face. You can always experiment. And let's see where that is. That's at the bottom of my chin. Do you see that in my baby picture? Uh, and then here. So you see what I'm doing? Just go ahead and keep doing this. probably be better if I had short hair 
in the adult picture as well. So I'll go ahead and keep doing this. Now this is what it looks like so far. If I click on the play button, here's the preview window. And I'll go ahead and click on this little yellow arrow. Okay, that's going really, really fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it again to stop it. And I'm going to go to the morph option and choose period and set it to roughly 300. You can always experiment. Now let's go ahead and play. Okay, that's a little on the weird side. What I need to do is get the eyes to match up. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to come down here and start putting little dots around my eye as a baby. And I want to do my mouth as well. I'm going to use the move tool to move these. Okay, now, notice when I scroll over, do you see where the, when I'm scrolling over the top of my baby eye, if you look at the adult picture, and do you see how it's outside of my hair? So obviously I'm going to come in and get it in the, roughly the same location of the eye. Otherwise it's going to look really strange. That's about right. Look at that. Whoa, that was crazy. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Would you look at where this is? Oh my. Where's that? I need to see where that is. Okay, that's the bottom of my eye. I hope that you're watching as I'm moving the dots on my adult picture to the baby picture, where they are in relationship to each other. Now this will be a little better. Let's go ahead and hit the play button. See, it's a little better there. Now obviously I'm going to need to change the mouse. That's the mouth that's a little frightening. So I'll go ahead and click on that plus sign. Let's go ahead and uh, add some more. And again, you're going to really want to experiment in the corner of my mouth. Oh, leave that one alone. That one's alone. Bottom of my lip. Top of the lip. And corner of the lip. Let's test it again. The mouth is still a little frightening. This, this picture is actually pretty frightening. Might want to do the nose. You really want to experiment. Now when you're done and once you're satisfied, you want to save it in a special way. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and go up to the Morph option, choose Reverse. It will go from Baby to Adult and back to Baby. Make sure you get rid of the one way. Let's go ahead and play it so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's going back and forth. Okay, now, personally, I'm going to experiment a little and come back to you later. After experimenting, I realized that it is much better if I moved these away from the hair because I just did the outskirts of the hair along my face just like the baby picture. So that was one of the changes I made. Once I'm ready I click on the AVI option and we'll save it as a movie. I'm going to go ahead and locate the folder where I put everything else in the morphing folder and I might call it me. And I'll go ahead and click save. When this window pops up I don't know exactly the rates, what it should be. It's something you probably want to experiment with. I'll leave the default and say OK and it should render as a movie and be ready to go. I'll say OK here as well and as you can see it is rendering. I hope that this lesson has been helpful and I hope you enjoy morphing. Take care. Bye.